From Monday, March 13th through Wednesday, March 15th, the Comanchination News Services Program held a Young Ladies Wellness Retreat for girls ages 13 to 18 at the Dorothy Sunrise Laurentino Education Center, led by Director of Comanchination News Services, Randy Lynn Atokney Claiborne, and her colleagues. What we've been going over has been basic uh, practices in mindfulness and staying present and trying not to think too far ahead of yourself and not trying to let things that may have happened in your past bother or upset you, but just to staying mindful in, in the here and now. She said having a safe space is essential for young girls, especially those at risk, to learn about themselves and to be in touch with who they are. Statistically speaking, our young Native women are at such a high risk to have a, a lot of dangers come towards them and I think being mindful of their surroundings, and that's a lot of the things that we've been speaking about is being observant and not letting the stressors of every day get them to a point where they're not being mindful of, of where they're at or who's around them, and just being observant and being able to focus um, and to practice these things every day. And to practice these things, you have to, you know, you only become stronger in doing that, and the hope behind the, these types of events is to, in, in essence, is to safeguard them for future things that may come They and provide them toolkits, provide them the opportunities and the toolkits that they need if things do get uh, out of hand or things do get too stressful in their lives, that they have these um, touchstones that they can come back to. Atani Claiborne said learning mindfulness is a good practice to release stress and absorb some issues from the outside. To be mindful of that I can't con I can control so much. But that also helps in, in a safety and in safeguarding as well by being observant of your surroundings at all times. You know, like you, like I said, you practice it and then you get better at it. And that's what we talked about with our body and our inner wellness. We're like it's like a muscle. It has to be exercised. It has to be mindfulness has to be exercised regularly so it can grow stronger every day. The girls created medicine pouches with cedar, promoting cleansing and a positive mindset. Which a talking claiborne said was the focus of the three day retreat. There's ways that you can do that outside of a cultural viewpoint, but then there's ways that we have our we have teachings of our own that keep those those negative things at bay. And that's one of the one of the practices that that we want to just let our girls know and let them have an eye identify with. So if they ever come across a point where someone is cedaring or somebody is is offering them, um, you know, help traditionally or culturally, that they know that they are that that's a safe place for them. She said that being a Native woman and growing up in a small rural community, there are many harsh realities, and it's unfortunate to encounter abuse against young women. Atokni Claiborne said missing and murdered Indigenous women has made it more prevalent and center staged, and people are taking more notice of abuse. Recently, um, within the year, I had a baby, and then I have a daughter. And I think with, with babies, there's something about having hope. Um, and I definitely want to have hope for the future for her. And doing these kind of events is teaching these young girls that will one day be in my shoes and one be in my place that will be eventually teaching her at some point, you know? So it's just kind of like paying things forward. So you want to make sure that, that these tool, these toolkits and these, these, uh, these practices are going to be available for the next group that's going to be coming up. And so, and my daughter's going to be in that group, and I have hope that these young girls are going to, this is going to be instilled in them, that when it comes their time to teach, and it's going to be their time to, to bring up those behind them, that they'll, they'll have all the necessary tools there available to, for them. She said she wants good things for her children and everyone else's children. I encourage, I, I do my best to encourage uh, every youth that I, I've, that I work with to let them know that they are important and that they are valued and that they have a safe place to be valued here. Atani Claiborne <laughs> said she reminds the group of ladies she works with that they are always welcome and they always have a safe place amongst their people. Reporting for the Comanche Nation PIO News, Natasha Mercadante.